What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and in this video I'm going to tell you all you need to know about Greninja and you will instantly be a better Greninja player. We will be talking about his abilities, evolutions, his playing style, build, combos and items. If you want to skip some parts, the timestamps are in the description. Also, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like on the video and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Pokemon Unite videos. Let's start with his passive abilities. The first passive is Torrent. Whenever you are half HP or less, you will do more damage and move faster. And second, your boosted attack. Every third attack turns into a buffed variant. If it is a ranged attack, you will do more damage and decrease the enemy Pokemon movement speed. If it is a melee attack, it does more damage the lower your opponent is and it teleports behind it. Keep your distance, you have a lot of range. Try moving in closer whenever the enemy is low HP, then you dive. Remember, don't get caught in fights, you have very low HP. Let's talk about his evolutions and how you should play on each one. You start the game as Froki, and you will be pretty weak compared to some other top laners. You will encounter a lot of Snorlaxes and Pikachus, and they are both a little too hard to fight early on. Right out of the gate, choose Bubble instead of Substitute and farm the top lane as fast as possible. Whenever you are at your outer goal, you should be around level 3, go and challenge the enemy for Corpish. Just farm as much as you can until you are level 5. You will now evolve into Frogadier. Choose between Double Team or Smokescreen. I would definitely go for Smokescreen. They both do the same thing, you can dash a certain direction. Smokescreen makes you sneaky and you will move faster. And also, your next attack is empowered. Also, the smoke makes other Pokemon move slower. Double Team is very obvious and a lot of experienced players will see who the real Frogadier is. Keep playing safe until you are level 7, that is the most important thing. You will now evolve into Greninja and you will be able to choose the best ability, Surf. Surf does a lot of good things for Greninja, so getting to level 7 should be your only priority. Surf is a dash attack that deals damage, restores some HP, does more damage the lower the enemy is, and best of all, if it is the final hit, the cooldown resets completely. With Surf, Greninja is very dangerous and he can snowball very fast. With Smokescreen, he can escape a lot of fights, or you can use it as an extra chasing move. At this point, you can start to assert yourself. Greninja skills very well, so the higher level you are, the more damage and impact you will have. Let's go into his build. The best battle item in my opinion is just a potion. He doesn't need speed, the eject button, or attack boost. He needs extra HP. Staying alive and having some extra HP every 30 seconds helps Greninja a lot, especially in the early game where he is very weak. The three holdable items are Muscle Band for more attack and attack speed. Greninja does a lot of damage after level 7, and the extra attack speed and attack damage work very well. After that, the Float Stone. This will give him more movement speed when out of combat and extra attack. Greninja is already very fast, but with Float Stone, he can be everywhere on the map super fast. This way you can assert yourself and dominate the whole map. And last but not least, the Scope Lens. Again, a damage based item. This is more for critical hit chance and damage. The amount of damage Greninja does with these items combined is insane. If you play kinda safe until level 7, you will do a lot of damage and you will be a problem for the enemy team. Let's talk about some combinations with Greninja. All his combos are based on his 3 hit boost attack. So hitting the first two from range, surf to the enemy and hitting the boost melee is a lot of damage. Combine that with the smoke screen roll after and you will have another boosted basic attack. So the combo is Ranged basic attack, ranged basic attack, surf through the enemy, melee boosted attack, smoke screen behind, another melee boosted attack. This is as much damage you could possibly do. The other combo is kind of simple and not really a combo. It is the surf timing. Remember, the cooldown resets after a kill with the surf ability. Time it so you know your surf kills and use surf again to the next enemy. Two surf hits are very strong and they both heal you for a bit as well. Let's talk about his insane Unite move, Water Burst Shuriken. Water Burst Shuriken is a ranged attack. The Shuriken flies to the designated area and does damage on impact and decreases the movement speed of all the Pokemon you hit. After a second, it does another explosion and it does more damage to anyone in the circle while also throwing them up in the air. After that, you can choose which direction you want to jump to. The damage itself is very decent, but not the greatest. But the best part comes after the Unite move. Greninja enrages and his movement speed and attack speed increases by a lot for 7 whole seconds. Greninja with insane attack speed is so broken it is not even funny. So the best way to use his Unite move is throw it in a team fight, jump behind them and keep basic attacking them until they are all dead. 
This was my ultimate Greninja guide, I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Unite videos. And I will see you in the next video.